Well, good morning, everyone. I hope that you are ready for a great day. I hear it's supposed to be really hot out there today, so be careful. Uh, we could sure use, use your help at uh, food outreach this morning. We'll be out there at uh, about 8.30 loading up at the church and 9 o'clock uh, at the apartment. So join us if you are able to. We'll have ice water there for you as well. This morning, we're in Luke chapter number five. Luke chapter number five, and I'm going to take you to a place that may be familiar to us. And and uh, what it is, Jesus is trying to connect with his disciples that don't know they're going to be his inner circle, the 12, just yet. He's talking to a large crowd, and uh, he asks uh, Simon, Simon Peter, to do something. And when Simon Peter does that, something God reveals himself to, to him and it reveals himself to, to anyone that was in the boat and anyone that heard the story of it, but more specifically, uh, the fishermen in the boat. And so listen to what happens in verse number three. It says, and he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Okay, so he's basically saying, hey, let's go see if we can uh, pull in a catch. And verse number five, and Simon answered, said, answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Uh, remember, there's other passages that kind of describe this as they were cleaning their nets, they were mending their nets, they were getting them prepared uh, to be put back in the ship until tomorrow night or till the next night. And they had been, basically, they had caught nothing. And Jesus was asking them to go out in the wrong time of the day. They have done all they knew to do, everything that was right to do about fishing. And Jesus tells them to do something that's not normal and has been proven to be the least wise way uh, and time to go fishing. And so Simon agrees. And so verse number six, it says, and when they had done this, thus done, uh, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned unto their, their partners, which were in the other ship, and they, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, depart from me for I am a sinful uh, I am a sinful man, O Lord. And then he goes on just a little bit further. Watch this. Uh, for he was astonished uh, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, uh, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships uh, ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. And ultimately, <clears throat> Jesus revealed himself in a very powerful way to, to Simon and all those around him, the, both fishing crews that were kind of partnered together. And what Jesus did right there was revealed to, to them, I have a different kind of power. And if you want to do something more significant than just simply this miracle catch of fish, follow me, drop your nets and follow me, come do my work. And, and, and Jesus was really calling them to total commitment. Uh, a lot of people today have what I'd like to call uh, sort of commitment. Uh, it's that I'm sort of committed unless I have another thing going on or unless I decide to commit to something else. We sort of believe in the Lord because if we really believed in the Lord, if we really saw what he was doing, if we really took full advantage of what he reveals, we would drop our nets and we would completely follow him. We would just pursue him. And so I want to encourage you with this. When Jesus reveals himself to you, forsake everything and follow him. Be completely committed and devoted to him. There is no place where you can get a, a better fulfillment in life than when we forsake all and follow Jesus for real. For, no, no lying, no pretending, no uh, half-heartedness, full-on true devotion to the Lord. I know when you do, you'll have a great day.